Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia. If this is your first time here and you've never viewed any of my videos, I do hope that you enjoy the contents of this video and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add custom colors to your fill panel. I'm going to use a skin tone color chart that I have created that makes life so much easier whenever I am creating designs that have um, features like people in it, basically. Um, no matter what the type of file is, if it's an SVG or something, maybe I trace and I need to change the skin tones, uh, people will often uh, change tones for characters once you trace those or have an SVG. So anything that you want to have a different skin tone, um, especially for a sublimation, you want to try and use a color chart to ensure that you are getting the desired color that you want or the desired output that you want. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump over to the chart. And where'd you go? There we go. So this chart is convenient, is available for you, conveniently set up already with all the colors and codes and things like that on my website, Um, It's available for you guys to print out and be able to reference it whenever you are designing something that you require a skin tone. So the one that says skin tone is one that's available on Google. You just have to do a Google search for it and you can definitely set it up and create your own. Um, and then for the chart down here, I created it by finding this picture of a you know, wide variety of skin tones. And then I sampled from various parts. So whether the forehead, the cheek, the nose, um, the, the, the chin, um, just a lot of different areas to create this color palette. I found that a lot of times if I was using the browns um, or tan colors with Intellect Studio, which are limited, a lot of the times the browns would have more of a greenish um, undertone to it um, or tans would have too much of a red undertone. So by selecting these from actual faces, I was able to kind of uh, neutralize the, the palette and like the color tones of them. So you definitely want to print this out so that you can see you know, the results and know that you're gonna get the des your desired color once you actually print it out and or sublimate it. Um, if you're going to utilize the skin tone chart, you want to just make a circle and then you want to sample the color. I'm gonna show you really quickly um, just in how I did it over here, but you would do the same thing with that skin tone chart. You're gonna open up your color palette either from the top left hand corner and use the eyedropper or you know because you'll be doing a lot of them you want to go to the fill panel on this side go ahead detach that and then you're going to click on your square you can make several duplicates of it i like to fill it with white and then make a bunch of duplicates if you have never used the replicate tool there is an option to create a column of several different replicates. So I'm just gonna do four and just keep doing that so I get quite a few of them. We're gonna click on the first one, take your properties, I'm sorry, not your properties dropper, your color dropper, and then you would sample the color. Now you can definitely do this um, on your own because you may come up with colors that I didn't necessarily pick up on. So I do encourage you if you want to try and create your own chart, but to get you started, that chart is available on the site. We're gonna go to the next one and you would just choose from different areas within you know, their faces. Uh, you know, Sometimes it's great to pick up in the highlight area, um, pick up color from areas that create shadows. So maybe underneath the eyes on the bridge of the nose. So you can pick up so many different colors just by sampling them. Once you kind of um, have all of your colors picked out, you will print it out, especially if you're doing sublimation, you wanna press it to fabric. If you are satisfied with those colors, you can add them to a color palette uh, within Select Studio so that you don't have to always reference the chart and change the numbers. But um, if you don't add it to the palette, once you go and you are designing, you would click on, you know, whatever element, and then you would write in the code. 
So under the same palette, you click on advanced options and right here where all of the F's are, you would enter the code for, you know, whichever color you're wanting to get. So I know on my chart, the first one is 362113. So I will put that there and it will fill in whatever I am designing with that color. All right. Now, if we want to add this to the chart, I'm going to go here. I think, oh, that was gold. So we're going to type in right here. I'm going to put skin tones. All right. And then hit the plus sign. This is the skin tone palette. I would then come over here. and select the color and then add it. So you just click on it. Oops, I think I missed one. And then just keep hitting the plus sign to add it to the chart. What's well, your color palette should I say? I'm sorry. And I think that's it for that one. And then you would have to, well, can we see? oh no, we can still add more. There we go, just slow down and we can add some more to it. Now you, even though you have this here, you do still want to you know, reference your chart so that you know exactly which color it is. Uh, with this, the only thing you know um, that I do find with doing it this way, compared to just looking at the chart and putting the, um, the code in, is you have to try and remember which order this was in or go ahead and count um, them out. So if you're looking at your codes and it was like, you know, you're, you're wanting this one, you will know that it is the fifth one over if you put it in order as you see it here. So you can put that there. Maybe you can randomly choose um, if you don't, you know, if any of those colors kind of work for you. So there are a lot of options and a lot of ways that you can use this color chart. But hopefully this video helped um, you with understanding how to add custom colors to your fill panel, um, as well as how to create your own custom chart. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one.